Well, hello there. How are you doing today? Do you feel like doing a little bit of DIYing with me? Well, come on in. Let's get started. What do I have going on for you for today? Well, as most of you know, I've been doing some home renovations lately, taking this house from what used to be our family home and transforming it into the girls and I's home. Today's video is inspired by TikTok. I saw a TikTok, I fell in love with this idea and figured, you know what? I'm gonna aim toward my hallway because I wanna transform the girls' doors and really transform my hallway into something warm and inviting instead of it just being a hallway. I can't wait to show you what I do with the girls, their bedroom doors. You're gonna love this. I loved it so much, I did it to my bedroom door and how the rest of the hallway turned out. I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna quit my gabbing, let's jump into it, and let's do some home DIYing on a budget. Cause why not? Because we can, and that's what we do here. Let's get to it. So really I have a third of my house done. I have the kitchen, laundry room, and family room done, but I am skipping over the front living room, office, and entryway and going straight for the hallway because I was feeling so inspired to do these doors and I can't just do the doors, right? If I'm gonna do the doors, I might as well do the whole hallway and go for the full effect, which I am so glad I did. These walls have never been painted. They are the original wall color that came with the house when we bought it 20 years ago. And I wanna say it's Chaparral by Dunn Edwards, or is it Edward Dunn paint? I don't know, potato, potato, right? And so yeah, I wanted something a bit darker because this chaparral color just did not go with my cabinets and my cabinets are all done. And you know what? It was a good excuse to put a fresh coat of paint on the inside of this house, really making it our own. What's great about a fresh coat of paint is you're getting a blank clean canvas. You're starting over again. And let me just tell you in 20 years, there were a lot of holes that have accumulated on these walls from the decor being changed up. And so, yeah, I'm gonna take the opportunity right now to fill in some of the older holes. I did, however, keep the nails in there from the decor that I just took down because I am going to put that decor back up. And it took a lot of measuring to get it where I wanted it to be. So I'm just gonna paint around those nails which is kind of a pain, but it is what it is. And yeah, just fill in these holes before I start painting. I wanted to go with a darker color and I know darker colors tend to make rooms look smaller, but to me, it just makes a room feel warmer and cozier and I love that. And so I wanted to go with darker walls and I'm also going to go with darker accents but I'm going to keep the trim and the doors white just to kind of bring a brightness to it a stark contrast between the walls and the doors I think that that just makes it look cleaner and I want that clean but I want that rustic farmhouse modern look as well. And so yeah, the color I'm going with is a Latte Olay uh, by Valspar, and you can get that at Lowe's. Before I cut into the bottom, I decided to take the opportunity to go ahead and whiten up all of my baseboards, fill in any of the separation or the cracks between the drywall and the baseboards themselves just from age and the house settling. And so once I did that, I used spackling and caulking for that. Once that dried, I'm just gonna go in and you can see that I'm slapping it on because I haven't cut in at the bottom yet with the latte color. And I'm gonna do this to all of my baseboards and all of my door trim. Everything that was once white, which really wasn't white in my house, 
the original color was Swiss coffee, so it kind of had a beige undertone to it. I wanted to do away with that because I just kind of felt like it looked dingy. I want the stark white, and so I am going with the snow white from Dunn Edwards. You can get this paint pre-mixed already at Lowe's and it's only like $19 a can and it comes with primer in it. And so yeah, I'm in, gonna do all my baseboards and they're gonna look clean and amazing and scuff free. These are letters that you can get at Hobby Lobby. They have carried them for years. They're regularly priced, I wanna say at $19.99 and I always wait for their wall or table decor to go on sale and it usually goes on sale at 50% off and you can get them for $10 a piece and because I was doing this wall about a year ago with so many letters, I waited for the sale to come before I bought all my letters. Only the problem with this was the wood that outlines the letter was just a bit too light, a lot too light for me. So I'm going in with a paintbrush and some of the old English wood stain, furniture stain, and I'm using that to darken it up. And as you can use Minwax to stain your wood, I wanted something that was gonna dry fairly quickly so I didn't have to wait a couple of hours to do it because yeah, I wanted this wall done today and this is how I'm getting it done and this is a great alternative to stain and it doesn't smell. So for this hallway, I really was trying to kind of go with the mindset of work smarter, not harder by not removing the nails. Although it is kind of a pain to paint around them with a roller, I still felt like it was gonna save me a ton of time versus removing the nails and remeasuring everything. On the opposite wall, I have kind of a collage wall of inspirational sayings. And I wanna say I probably have like 30 or 40 pieces up there. So it was absolutely not something that I wanted to redo and kind of puzzle together again. So I did take a picture of the opposing wall as well went ahead and repainted it and then you'll see me put it back together here in a second and a lot of these pieces yes they are from hobby lobby because they always have such a great sale and i wasn't going to di why all of the decor in my house right now maybe i'll add some pieces but for the most part yeah i just really kind of wanted to get the job done by making this home our home instead of the family home there are people who have vision boards, I think it's called. Well, I've got a vision wall. And so on those days where I'm feeling just a little bit less than, I can come and look at my wall and read these amazing quotes and it reminds me of who I am and what my purpose is. Now for the doors. Needed some command hooks. These were all Dollar Tree had, these brown ones. So I figured since I just finished repainting the doors, look at how white and crisp and clean they look. They look brand new again and they're 20 years old. I am so excited. The OCD in me is really just being calmed right now. But since I had some white paint, I figured I'd just go ahead and paint these white and it would get the job done. Can I just tell you though how disappointed I am with Dollar Tree these days? I definitely know how some of you felt when you would see us do these DIYs and you couldn't get your hands on some of the stuff we were using because since my Dollar Tree turned to a Dollar Tree Plus, it stinks and the crafting section, well, it's been cut down to a half an aisle now.
Some hooks are needed and I got these at Hobby Lobby. Picked up three of them because they were originally $5.99 and I got them half off. So these hooks are gonna go right above the girls doors here, right in the center. Yep, just like that, using some drywall screws. And I'm not, I'm not using anchors because there's not gonna be any weight. So I'm just, work smarter, not harder. Yes, if there was weight behind it, I'd put anchors, but there's not, so it'll be good. And some lanterns are needed for this. I picked up these mini lanterns at $5.99, so they were $3 a piece. I picked up three of them and these LED birch votives. These were the most expensive thing. They were $16.99, but I did get them half off. I am not gonna hardwire my lanterns into my wall. And so I just wanted to go the easy route and add to the rustic feel of them by using birch votives. Does it get any more rustic than that? And here's Kayla opening her door, catching me and she's wondering what the heck I'm doing. This was supposed to be a surprise and she wasn't supposed to come out of her room and she did. And yeah, I think she was asking me there what I was gonna do or, oh no, here comes Biza. Biza was just keeping me, look at my handsome boy. He just, he just got back from the groomer. I love him. Yeah, so anyway, Kayla, go back in your room, please, and shut the door so I can finish this and this surprise isn't completely ruined. Yeah, here's, I was telling her, can you shut the door, please? And she was like, well, why? No, Biza's there. No, shut the door. Okay, thank you. Okay, now we can finish. She thinks there's lanterns above her door. Maybe that's all she thinks is going on wait until you see where we go with this it is already so cute so i ended up putting a lantern above all three of the doors here that you see in the hallway the one across from my daughter's room is the bathroom and i added one to that because how are you not going to have a lantern above that door when you have it above every other door yeah oh my goodness look at how stinking cute these are oh yeah the excitement is real i'm loving it like when you see yeah look at the birch votives in there it's just perfect i love this okay so what are we doing next next up i went to walmart and i picked up these townhouse mailboxes black galvanized ones they were 16.99 a piece here are the measurements on the back and these mailboxes yeah they're gonna go right here on their door oh, mailboxes on their bedroom door wait it gets better and if you've seen this TikTok already you know that i am putting my own spin and twist on this but this is such a fun idea so stick with me because it gets even better I made my daily trip on over to Lowe's and picked up some of these address numbers. These are a metal number and yeah, the numbers are gonna go on the side of their door because this is their address. Ah, how sticking cute is that? Now the numbers, they represent each of our birthdays. And so for Allie's door, it is gonna be 1119. And for Kayla's, the address is gonna be 107 for October 7th. Yes, she just had a birthday that passed. She turned 25 years old. So we'll just call this a late birthday present, cause why not? And every front door needs a welcome sign, right? Right, so instead of making these holiday ones because it is so close to the time, Again, Hobby Lobby had a sale of 50% off. These were $11, 50% off. You can't beat that, $5.50. So I picked up a couple and I think that it will be fun to change out these signs for each of the holidays and seasons. And the one that is a non-seasonal 
welcome sign is one that I'm actually going to make. And I'll DIY that with you all and film it as um, a video. But look at how cute that is. I even picked up a Christmas one. So I've got one on hand. I love these, but they fell because of those command hooks. So I picked up these hooks from Walmart and decided, you know what, the heck with it. I'm just gonna put something sturdy in there because I don't want these wreaths falling down and ruining the mailboxes. And the hooks will look nice if I make them match the doorknobs. And so yeah, these were like a 10 pack for like three bucks and I needed several of them anyway. So yeah, I had to replace them. And yeah, they are screwing into the door. Not my favorite thing to do, but you know what, this is gonna stay up and if I need to take them out someday, I'll patch up the holes. Let's take a look at the hallway. Oh, I love the dark accents here. Yeah, I did my door too. I'm gonna tell you what these mailboxes are for here in a second, so wait for it. But I just love this idea. I think it is so cute and fun. It just looks like our own individual apartments or houses with a front door, a welcome sign, address, and lanterns. What a fun idea. Now, I will tell you, each door costs me about, I wanna say, $30. And so I don't feel like that is super bad. I think it was super fun to do. And look at that. I just love the look and the feel of this hallway. Look at how stinking cute that is. Oh my goodness, I can't. This might be my favorite place in the house along with my wall of inspiration. Man, I am so bummed that this camera isn't doing these lanterns justice. There is a slight flicker you can see here, but you'll just have to take my word for it. It looked really cool. I may brighten it up in the future, but for now, it'll work. These are journals that I picked up for the girls and I. It's a mother and daughter journal, and the mother writes in it, and then the daughter writes in it and I just thought it was such a great way to open up the lines of communication between the girls and I so I got one for Kayla one for Allie and as we each write in them when we're done with our section we can just go ahead and stick it in each other's mailboxes and we can move on to the next section and I just love the idea of this drum roll please for the big reveal uh, truth being told, I'm not going to lie, Allie's reaction was a bit underwhelming, but in her defense, she just woke up from a nap. Come all the way out and shut your door. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, what do you think? Where is he sleeping? Allie, look, it's your birth date. That's your address. What are you gonna put in the mail? Oh, oh just some mail. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna send you mail. Look, there's a lantern above your doors. Isn't it cute? It is really cute. Mom? Yes. Can I ask something? Oh, my word. The excitement is real, the love is real, the feeling of satisfaction is true. I absolutely love the way my hallway turned out and what I love even more is the doors. I loved this idea on TikTok when I saw it. I made a few changes, making it my own and putting my own twist on it and I love the outcome. The girls absolutely loved it too. And although Allie was just waking up, she is really excited about the mailbox and what we're gonna do with those journals. And I think that it's just fun all together. It screams just warm love, comfort, and home. And Allie said, mom, can we paint my room next? Like, I feel like I wanna make it an apartment now. She is just the cutest thing. 
but the excitement is real. I am really enjoying transforming this house and making it our own and making it look completely different than what it had looked like over the past 20 years. And that really is our goal. This hallway is just one of the transitions and the redos that I am doing in this house. I have been filming an overdrive and so I've got so many more to share with you. So come join me on this journey, follow along and maybe you will gain some inspiration. Until next time, everybody. I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy DIYing on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy. But most of all, you know what I'm gonna say. It might be a hard one, but I believe in you. Try to stay positive, please, because I am. Bye for now, everyone.